Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and today we're inside a 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250, and we're taking a look at the 7-inch Mercedes command system. Now, this is not the standard infotainment system in the CLA 250. For that $29,900 base price for the CLA, you get a 5-inch system that is relatively similar to this in terms of software, but the screen is a little bit smaller. This is part of a $2,370 package that also includes the upgraded audio system and a 6-slot CD player right here. It gives you the 7-inch screen, navigation, multimedia interface, and the up-level screen. If you opt for the base model with the smaller screen, you can still add navigation later. Mercedes will sell you a Becker Map Pilot system. It's about $600 for the Becker Map Pilot and $200 for the pre-wiring in order to integrate navigation with this LCD in the dashboard. That means the base model will still have a Navi button right here in the dashboard, but it won't do anything unless you have that Becker system integrated into the car. It actually plugs in right over here inside the glove box. The pre-wiring is $200, and we found it on many vehicles on lot, so you do have the option of going up to that Becker system at a later date. The Becker interface is not going to be the same as the system we're taking a look at now, but it is relatively similar, and it does offer full voice commands for address entry as well. Like other Mercedes command products, the system is controlled by this control wheel right here in the center console. It's a joystick and rotary affair, so it toggles up, down. As you can see, it moves to different options on the screen, side to side as well. It rotates around, and it clicks down to select. Let's take a look at the features one at a time. First, we're on navigation. As you can see, we have a 3D map view right here. We also have the ability to have a 2D map view, and we do have XM satellite traffic information. As you can see right here, there's some traffic going on right there in San Jose and Campbell, and again, right there along the coastline right there. You do have to have an XM satellite subscription in order for the traffic to work. There is a trial subscription included with the purchase of the vehicle. Mercedes mapping interface is very snappy, and address entry is very easy in the system, either with the scroll wheel or with natural voice commands. In fact, Mercedes-Benz Command has some of the best voice commands of any system on the market because it doesn't use beeps. I'll show you what I mean by clicking the voice entry button to enter a destination. Enter destination. Please say the house number, the street, and the town. 897 Hinkley Road, Burlingame. Please wait. You notice the system didn't have any beeps or any prompts. It's a little bit less jarring, and the voice is a little bit more natural than you'll find in most of the other systems on the market. Address entry is very rapid with the system. It's very easy to use as well. Moving on from the navigation interface, navigating command is relatively easy. The system is divided into three zones. We have this shortcut zone up top. These are basically your sources, Navi, audio, phone, video, system, etc. We have this main section. We toggle down in order to access that. And then we have the line across the bottom. These are more detailed commands for the section that you're in right now. If we click on audio, for instance, you'll see your source inputs. But if we go back and we toggle down and we click here, you'll see navigating around the iPhone. So we can see what's on the current playlist, select by cover, keyword search, playlist, etc. And if we go down, we have some more in-depth options for navigating around this device. We have the media interface, search, we can change our sound options, turn on Logic 7 surround, adjust our treble and bass, etc. One thing to note on this audio interface is that although we have a voice command system for the audio interface, it's relatively limited when you're interacting with iDevices or iPods or iPhones, that sort of thing. Mercedes does have an optional Apple Play pack that is $600 that does bring an additional level of integration for Apple products into the system along with a new set of screens and new set of looks. This vehicle does not have that $600 option. It is relatively expensive, but it does give you a much improved way of interacting with your iDevice. The Bluetooth phone interface is a fairly typical Bluetooth phone interface. We do have direct access dial buttons right there on the dashboard. I do find that a great deal handier to interact with rather than using the scroll wheel in order to enter numbers in the system. Part of the navigation option package is this six slot CD DVD changer, which does allow us to play DVD videos on the screen if you're parked. Over on system, you'll find system options. And if we go all the way over to our globe icon on the corner of this screen and click down, we have access to Mercedes-Benz apps, internet radio, Sirius weather, and mobile web browsing. You can enter any address in the system that you like, however, it is incredibly slow. Mercedes-Benz apps is where you'll find things like Facebook and other app integrations. However, unlike BMW's iDrive and other app integration systems, you aren't using the app on your phone and then having it display on the screen. It's actually running it on this system, so you do have to log in separately and it's not using the app on your phone. Now, Mercedes will be offering Apple's CarPlay with the system. We haven't been told exactly how much that will cost, but we are told that it will be able to be integrated into older Mercedes CLAs that were purchased without the system. 
Apple's CarPlay allows you to integrate the interface on your iPhone with this screen in the system. So you will be able to have better Siri integration, better map integration, and better app integration with this screen with Apple CarPlay. So that will bring improved Facebook integration, as well as a wide variety of other apps and a whole new interface to interact with them on this screen. Overall, Mercedes Command ranks below some of the other entries in this segment. It definitely is starting to show its age a little bit, although I am very excited that Mercedes is going to be offering Apple's CarPlay system because I think that could breathe some new life into the system if you're an iPhone user or an iPhone lover. You plan on getting one. If you're an Android user, then you may find that system just a little bit less exciting. That's been my quick take at the Mercedes Command system inside the CLA 250. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen and you'll be updated on all of our latest videos. Watch out for the full review on the Mercedes CLA 250 coming up in the next day or so.